Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Former Olympic gold medalist Yuri Orcus Gamboa burst into professional boxing with considerable fanfare several years ago after defecting from Cuba. He quickly became a star in the featherweight division, winning two world title belts. But in recent years, Gamboa's career has foundered amid business difficulties so onerous that he has appeared in the ring only once in each of the past two years. On June 28, Gamboa will try to elevate again as he goes to Omaha, Nebraska to challenge world lightweight champion Terrence Crawford on his home turf. Here now, Yuri Orcas Gamboa's greatest hits. October 2008. Gamboa put his 11-0 record on the line against Marcus Ramirez. The underdog Ramirez was eyeing an upset in the opening round. And Gamboa goes down for the third time in his career. When Ramirez is coming across with the right hand, the elbow kind of slips out. Gamboa definitely got caught with that on the chin. Gamboa countered with a knockdown of his own early in round two, then looked to close the show later in the round. I think Gamboa got his pride wounded, and they are trading big time. Oh! Gamboa really took off with his throwing his punches. I don't know if Ramirez can get up and recover from this, and he can't. So Gamboa moves the record to 12 and 0 with 10 knockouts. January 2010, Gamboa faced dangerous bruiser Rogers Matagua. Just as in the Ramirez fight, the fireworks began early. The right and then the left hurt Matagua. Pretty definitive round for Yorkus Gamboa. And down goes Mtagwa, putting an exclamation point on it. Big first round for Yorkus Gamboa. Round two told the same story. Left hand right to the face by Gamboa. Combination to the head. Oh, left, right, hurt him. Good left hand to the body, right to the chin. Down goes Mtagwa. Gamboa's too sharp right now. Target practice for the Cyclone of Guantanamo. Good stoppage by referee Steve Smoger and a sensational performance from Gamboa. Too sharp, too quick, too powerful. March 2011. Following a victory over Orlando Salido, Gamboa put his featherweight title on the line against Jorge Solis. Gamboa wasted little time turning the fight into his own personal highlight reel. Oh, right hand puts down Solis. And there's the speed and the power of Gamboa. This is the Gamboa we want to see, a guy who gambles and goes for the knockout. Gamboa just picking apart Jorge Solis. And down goes Solis. And that is the end of round number three. Oh, right hand puts down Solis. Fourth time he's been down. Solis off balance. Gamboa trying to measure him up and comes in with power shots again. Left hand hurts Solis. Right hand combination. Down goes Solis. David Field stops it here in the fourth. That's the Gamboa we were all waiting to see. This is a coming out party for him, I think. September 2011. Gamboa faced off with hard hitting Mexican Daniel Ponce de Leon. Gamboa's speed kept the dangerous southpaw at bay. Good right hand by Gamboa. De Leon walked right into it. Oh, what a right hand by Gamboa. Gamboa's dominating speed advantage is beginning to show up. Hard right hand by Gamboa momentarily wobbled Ponce de Leon. While Gamboa landed the right hand at will throughout the fight, he could never put Ponce de Leon on the canvas. The action came to a halt in round eight. Their heads come together and clash, and there's blood above the left eye of Ponce de Leon. Accidental headbutt. Conventional fighter against a southpaw, both guys trying to be offensively aggressive at times. It's the kind of thing which was bound to happen. They're gonna stop it. Going to the judges' scorecards after eight rounds, Gamboa easily claimed a unanimous decision victory. December 2012. Following a 15-month layoff, Gamboa finally returned to the ring, moving up to 130 pounds to face Michael Ferenas. Early on, Gamboa's accuracy looked sharp. Now Gamboa is starting to land and find the target. Good body shots indeed by Gamboa. This time Farinas takes him pretty well and comes back. Down goes Farinas on a combination by Gamboa. It wasn't that hard of a punch, but I think Farinas just did not see it coming. Entering the middle rounds, Farinas tried to take advantage of Gamboa's ring rust, landing some solid shots of his own. But Gamboa countered back in round seven.
Touched his glove to the canvas. That's a knockdown for Gamboa. Second knockdown of the fight. And Gamboa came out this round like he intends to get him out of here this round. He better be careful. He's swinging wide, trying to nail Farinas with these big shots, and he's leaving himself open to a potential counter left hand stop, stop, up the middle. Stop, stop. And eager Gamboa attempted to close the show in round nine, but his aggression gave Farinas an opening. And now Gamboa backs him into the corner, and Farina starts to wobble, and Gamboa is making constant contact here. And down goes Gamboa on a straight left hand counter. Had he gone to Farinas' body, he would have he stopped Farinas right there, but he wouldn't go to the body. He kept going to the head and allowed Farinas to throw a head shot back. Gamboa overcame the knockdown, claiming a unanimous decision victory. June 2013. Gamboa made his lightweight debut against Colombian Darlis Perez. Gamboa took a scorecard lead in the opening round. Stop. And down he goes. That's a knockdown. That's a knockdown. The referee is ruling it a knockdown. It was a low contact knockdown, that's for sure. The rounds following the knockdown were marked by stretches of inactivity, with Gamboa building up a steady lead, fighting from the outside. In the later rounds, Perez began to find his timing and attacked in round 11. That looked like a knockdown to me on a perfect left-hand shot by Darlin Perez, and the referee is ruling it. They slip. You see the left foot of Gamboa slip on the signage in the ring, but I also think Perez landed a shot, but I don't know if it was hard enough to knock him down. It's a tough call. Gamboa went on to win the unanimous decision. To see more of Yuri Orcas Gamboa, tune in to HBO Boxing.